Stevie's in his box. Hey folks, I'm in Bell Chase, Louisiana. Look at this chicken in here. That's Miss Sheila. <laughs> she works at this company here. Look, look, she don't want to be around the bees. She's so scared. Look. But I told her she's gonna be in the video. I'm not gonna do the job. <laughs> look, at, look, look, she, hey, she feels protected. She feels safe. Right, uh, I'm here with David and we in, like I said, we're in Bell Chase, Louisiana. And they have a uh, uh, a shipping box, I guess, is that what you call it? Yeah, it's a storage box. Alright, a storage box with some kind of part. Don't even know what part is in there. It could be like a, a, a dead body in the bottom of it, huh? No, it probably going to be a gear or some kind of <laughs> engine or something. Okay, so uh, let me show you what that looks like in just a second and we're going to get into it. So, uh, bees in a box in Bell Chase, Louisiana. Right, so let me back up. So there's the, the shipping box right there, the parts box. Okay? Pretty good sized box, and they're entering on this corner right here. I thought for sure they'd have come falling out of there when you did that. Well, then, you know, what y'all tell me, they hadn't been here that long. So. I, as far as I know, I mean, we noticed them, and then I wanted to do something about it because I didn't want to see anybody get hurt. Right. But on the other right. side, I don't want to kill the bees. You know, right. I'd rather you know, well, turn no, them back to somebody who can get, you know, get some use out of them. There's no need to kill them, especially in something like this, that it can be accessed. Yeah. If you can access a colony and remove them live, why not, you know? That's exactly what I'm saying. They must have some colony. Yeah, I see them, they stuck to the top of yeah, the they, they must have some. Oh. Huh? You think they've been here only a month? I don't know. That's where we remember seeing them. full of bees. It might have been five or six weeks. It Let me go grab been. a deep. We're going to put these in a deep. That thing's full up. Wait till y'all see this, folks. So you're going to take a piece of the comb out and put it in there? To well, try to if, get them to if, go to it? If, if they have transferable comb. If it's, if it's real new and soft and it's not falling apart, we're not going to use it. Then we'll just treat them as a swarm. Because I saw them. Woo wee, they got a bunch in there. What's in there, Jeff? Well, you got it's some box, you got boxes, it's some bearings, you got termites, you got mud dauber nests. <laughs> yeah, got, that's some bearings. You got it all, boxes, man. In this box. Now this has got a little pollen and honey mixed. Uh -huh. A lot of vitamins and minerals in there. If you want to try that. Yeah, I'll try it. Try it. Try, 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 and, so and you just fit the wax out afterwards? Yeah, yeah. The, the honey should offset the, the pollen taste. Any bit of this from the pollen. Different, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a vitamin infusion right there. We could for a lot of B vitamins. <laughs> like that? <laughs> Almost like eating a salad out of a crab. Tell me, man. Good stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. Here's yeah, a little more in a minute. Well, some of that nectar is kind of watery. It's not, you know, it's not really honey yet. Ne uh, nectar has a, a high moisture content. Well, what the bees do is they'll bring it back into the colony and they regurgitate it. And other bees will ingest it. It goes through an enzymatic process, and then they'll deposit it in the cells. And 
Then they, they, they're always fanning inside the colony and they're actually bringing the moisture content down. See, usually they get it down to between 17 and half and 18 and half percent. And then they'll cap those cells with beeswax. It's kind of like putting honey in a jar and putting a lid on it. Seal it. Yeah. But if you think about it, how ingenious it is, what happens at 20 percent? Fermentation. Huh. So they bring it down below that 20 percent and then they cap. Well, there's a lot of them in there. Huh? Where did the larva go at? In those cells too? Yeah, they're in the cells. That's the is... white things right there. Okay. This is all drone larvae. These are males that would have hatched out. We don't need the males. We want the workers. I had a honeybee swarm come in a packing box right there by where we back the boat trail is in by the shelf. He's over here filming the catch. He's going to catch them all and then transport them out of here. Oh, I was eating some of that fresh comb with that pile and we talked about it. Good. Eat the comb at all, huh? You can't. I mean, it won't hurt you to do it. Uh, it's almost like wax. It is wax. It's beeswax. Ooh, beeswax. And they have wax glands that help to manufacture beeswax. That I'm going around to bring that beer. The honey in there is kick ass. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could eat that all day long. Watch. You go throw them right in there. They're going to want to go in there now because you're going to drop them in there, huh? <laughs> How about that? That's the way to do it, man. They're all going in there now. They want to get with their friends. I got her. She can't run. She can't hide. We got her. <laughs> what do you think of that honey, Miss Sheila? It's delicious. Isn't it good? It's like nothing I've ever tasted. <laughs> and look at all those bees were just covering me and, and stinging me, my eyeballs and my ears and everything. Oh, Did you look, really look get at Dave. Look, we better call 911. They're so mean. Did you really get <laughs> I saw them crawling on you. What is that? That's just my queen pet when I get the queen up for it. Oh, these bees. Really? They're not, these are Italian bees. That's okay. <laughs> Italian, Italian bees are nice bees. Yeah, that's kind of. I'm serious. There's different races of bees. Throughout the world, the Italian bees are probably the most popular because they're known for being pretty young. Really? I promise you, I'm happy to tell you. Most of the bees in the colony, like 98% or so, are all females. They do all the work in the colony. Wait for reaction. I'm not, not, I'm not giving it. No, no, I'm, 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 no, really, honestly, most of the bees in the beehive are females. Uh-oh, what's buzzing in here? They do all the work. Come on. Come on. Well, I believe that. Oh, uh, there we go. I, 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 I believe that. Y'all love when I tell y'all that. We do do all the work. These are females. They're doing all their work. And the males? Sit just, around and do absolutely nothing. They're very little. They're on standby. <laughs> in case uh, a virgin queen in the area needs to get mated, okay, they'll go and mate with them. Okay, but she'll mate with 10 to 20 drones. When she mates with the drones, she pulls out the sex organ and collects his sperm in an organ called a spermatica. And they do this up in the air in the staging area. And so when she mates with them, they literally drop dead right afterwards. Wow. My kind of marriage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So you want to be the queen bee, huh? I already am the queen bee around here. What do you, what do you think about that, Dave? Yeah, she's been that way forever. Actually had a hat from one of the dredges that had. Hey, look, at least you got to let her think so, right? Yeah. Uh, she knows, so everybody oh. else knows it too. <laughs> we're gonna have Sheila playing with some bees in just about five minutes. I'm gonna do what? Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna put some on your hand like this. <laughs> and then you can just throw. Oh. Would you try that? You're brave enough. Sure. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
If they all want up in this box, we know we got them. Alright. We got some big cones in here now. If they go down a little ways. I want to go down a little bit. I wonder if I can pick up this, this box. It says weight. Probably so. It says weight zero. Uh, <laughs> I doubt it, seriously. If it's one of do, do I have to add a thousand in front of that number? It just depends how big that bearing is. I mean, if it's not very big, it shouldn't be, but it's only at 30 pounds. Oh, they all look underneath there. There's a big wad of them hanging off the bottom on your side facing. I mean, these bees, will just, they can fly right back to the box, but they'll crawl over there. No big deal, really. Ooh, that's a nice piece, huh? It is. See, that's the baby, son. Oh, the bar. It's cat brood. Cat worker brood. Oh, I do that, that way I can, uh, I can cut the cone without the bees all over. Yeah. See? Makes it a lot easier. How many would you think there's there? You got at least 10,000 bees here. I can tell you that right now. There's a queen in a snaddle that they are attracted to. Yeah, she puts out queen pheromone. See how we do that? Yeah, you're right. You ready to make a new home? Joke, folks. Check this out. And it going on. Look at that. removal my buddy Dave here he's the one who called me out he enjoyed this oh yeah I had a lot of, a lot of fun and he got to try some of that good honey oh yeah it was real good so now we're gonna let the bees orient to our box and they will in the larger box right below us we transferred all the brood comb out a little bit of honey for feed and we got it positioned really right by the, the entrance of the big box that they have been using for, probably for the last couple of months would be my best guess does that sound uh, about right, maybe? It sounds about right. Okay, somewhere in there. So uh, now it's just a matter of just letting it sit here till dark. I'll come back tonight. I'll, I'll pick the box up, put it in my truck, and I'll bring it to one of my bee yards tomorrow. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Another one from JP to Bee Man. And Dave. David R. Snow, thank you. From Bell Chase, Louisiana. To the next one. Good sport, Dave. Good sport. I know you were terrified just now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little bit? Yeah, a little bit, but uh, <laughs> you know, I got respect for him. There you go. There's a difference in fear and respect. <laughs> fear is you're gonna die. <laughs> respect is they're gonna screw you up and you're gonna get swollen up. <laughs> look, look, they're starting to.